results in the first two rounds. Congratulations. So, Dwight, what are your comments about this competition? Oh, I'm just so happy that I was able to come out victorious. Um, I knew heading into the final, there were two guys I was going to have to worry about. There's just two guys I'm sitting next to. Um, this is my fourth world title. Coming into this competition, you know, no one even expected me to make the final. And I believe in myself, and I'm so happy that I was able to come out victorious. Thank you, Mitchell. Your comment about today's? Uh, it was mixed for me today. I said said the last couple of weeks that I'd be disappointed that if I didn't win. And I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I didn't jump well today and wasn't feeling that great out there. Um, in saying that, uh, if someone wants to beat me, I'm glad it's Dwight. Um, the only fact is to say he's still a bit of a hero of mine. And uh, <laughs> I don't mean to make him feel old, but uh, uh, I've been watching you since I was about 13, so uh, oh dear. Um, I'm happy for Dwight. And I mean, it's just a weird feeling for me. Um, a silver medal is the highlight of my career, but uh, I walk away a little bit disappointed, but I'm still only 23 and got a lot to look forward to. Thank you. And Goni, your comment? Um, I'm just very thankful to be in this position today, to be able to compete with these great people, great athletes. You know, for me to be third behind these guys, I'm, I'm just very happy. And for, for me to win the best medal for Zimbabwe, I'm just very thankful. My season has been very great, and uh, to end it with a bronze medal, I think it can't get any better. Yes, after running the 100 meters also. Now your questions, please. John? Uh, Dwight, how did you feel when you saw that your competitor's number was all four of the number one? When I saw that I had all the number ones, uh, like I said before, I thought it was divine intervention. I thought it was just meant for me to win my fourth world title. And I'm just so happy. I'm so proud that I was able to represent my country and my family. And, um, you know, me and my coach, we said all along, uh, Raina Ryder, he told me that we have nine weeks to go. We can do it. And he believed in me. I believed in myself. My family believed in me. And I'm just so grateful and thankful to win this fourth world title. Thank you. Here in the first row, please, is the question. A question for Joy. Because the world championships are a lot later than they usually are, was there any, did you train in a different way this year than you usually do to make sure that you peaked at the right time? Um, no, no, I really I haven't had the opportunity to train much. I, I got an injury early in May, and it kind of prevented me from training. I had a sustained Achilles injury. So I only trained two weeks in May. I didn't train any in the month of, of June. And I only trained two weeks in the month of July. But I'm so grateful that I had the whole month of August to train. And I like to call it calculated momentum. It happened at the perfect timing for me. Thank you. More questions? Yes, John again. Uh, Dwight, you're famous for, or well known for, uh, getting big jumps on your first attempt. And you did that in qualifying, you did that today, and then, of course, you got your winner in your second. But is that always something you strive for, to get a long mark on your first jump? Actually, yes. Um, I spoke with one of, the, one of the great legends early in my career, and Carl Lewis, and he told me, one way you pressure your opposition is getting a really good jump early. And that's something that I always remember. So every time I train, like my first jump is always good, no matter what. I make sure my first and my last attempts are always my best. So um, I train that way, and I'm just so grateful that, you know, that recipe has worked for me for over 10 years now. Yes, please, more questions? Maybe to Mitchell, were you satisfied how you planned your season? Because it's always a difficulty for Australians to like to peak twice for domestic season and then for the uh, big yeah. season. Yeah, it's difficult, but you know we know at the beginning of the year that that's how it's going to be. Um, I jumped 8:44, I think, at the end of March, and I knew it was going to be difficult to sort of keep that up, but um, I stepped it up a bit once I got to Europe and. Uh, I, I don't feel drained or anything like that. Um, I just didn't didn't jump as well I did tonight, but that's definitely not due to the long season. And uh, it's good 
with the Australian selection policy for, for London next year, the top eight here is automatic for London, so it might make it a touch easier for next year. So you can now plan everything. And Goni, are you now feeling more as a long jumper or a sprinter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, I'm, I'm, I'll do both 100 meters and long jump. They are on the same level. And maybe we can, we can extend it. So what do you like more in these two events? Uh, I think right now, right now it's clear. Yeah. <laughs> right now it's clear. Yes, please, there. Wait, uh, what's your best 100 meter time ever? Oh, my best is 10.06. But this guy sitting next to me ran 9.89. And the guy next to me is pretty fast as well, and Mitchell. Um, when I saw him run 989 this year, I was like, shit. And then I see, <laughs> then I see Mitchell Joe 854, I'm like, shit. <laughs> so I was just happy that you know I was able to compete my heart out and, and beat both these guys. And a follow up question uh, Were any of you three guys worried that you might wake up and see yourself on the cover of the program? This <laughs> I was hoping Dwight would be on the program. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dan Montijos also today. <laughs> Mitchell improved this year to 10.31 for your record. Yes, please. More questions? John? Uh, Nagoni, you, uh, am I correct that you did not long jump after the National Collegiate Championships? And if so, why was that? Until here in Daegu. Um, yes, I, I didn't jump after the NCAA Championships, mostly because um, I had a little bit of hiccup, like problems with my quad. I, 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 didn't, um, I think I strained a little bit after NCAAs, so I, I went back to get uh, treatment and rehab just to try to strengthen it a little bit. So uh, as soon as I, I got healthy, when I was able to jump again, there was no competition for long term, so I only stick to my 200 meters. And, uh, but everything is okay though. Um, I only need speed down the runway and then try to fix my technique. I was practicing, <coughs> so it was okay. And it is the first ever medal for Zimbabwe at the World Championships in athletics. Please, more questions? Yes? Question to Dwight and Goni. Do you think uh, Usaibot can challenge you if uh, he seriously tries to do, uh, to do long jump after London Olympic Games? Excuse me? Whether you think Usain Bolt can challenge you if he starts seriously to do the long jump after London game. That well, was the question. I'll be retired, so we can, uh, we can do it all we want to. Uh, Goni, can you also reflect on that question? Um, yeah, he, he, he definitely has speed. And, um, but long jump is not all about speed. There's motoring. There's also the technical side. If you can put down the technique side, uh, if you can put down the technique, I think, He'll be a very good long jumper, but you never know. I'm ready for him, though. Okay, we're nine seven two. More questions? Okay, that seems to be the case. So once again, big congratulations, Dwight Phillips, former.